Hello everyone and welcome to The Future is Africa. We're excited to tell you about how African developers are building for the world. I'm John Kimani. I'm a program manager with Google's developer ecosystem team in Sub-Saharan Africa. I'm Andy Volk, head of Google's developer ecosystem team for Sub-Saharan Africa. The developer ecosystem team at Google is focused on supporting developers globally through our developer and startup community programs. As part of that work, in 2020, we partnered with Accenture to create a survey of Africa's developer landscape. Now, this was the first time that Accenture had created a map of Africa's developers. So this was a unique opportunity, not just to inform our own strategy, but to share this data with the world. We're here today to share some of the top highlights of that research with you. But before we start and dive into the report itself, we wanted to share a bit about our personal journeys and background with you. John? Throughout my career, I have been fortunate to meet and work with some of the most talented and passionate developers from across Africa. I have experienced firsthand the open and welcoming nature of developer communities in the region. I have also seen the social and economic transformation brought about by the innovative solutions that developers are building. What about you, Andy? Thanks, John. I've spent years working in Silicon Valley as an entrepreneur and a product leader focused on enabling communities and developers. And for the last 10 years, it's been my privilege to work with African developers and startups across the continent and support their growth. And so for both John and myself, our journeys have led us here to Google's developer ecosystem team. In September 2020, Google and the International Finance Corporation, the IFC, released our first ever Economy Africa report to highlight the strengths, challenges, and future potential of Africa's internet economy and how it's fueled by talented African entrepreneurs creating new opportunities across the continent. The report forecasts that the internet would contribute $180 billion to Africa's economy by 2025, with that contribution expected to grow to over 700 billion by 2050. Now, while there are several key factors driving this growth, including the resilience of the internet economy, consumer consumption, investment, infrastructure growth, and government policies, strong developer talent was specifically called out as a key focus area in the report, fueled by a young, fast-growing population. Yes, Andy, Africa's developer population is young and fast-growing and the growth of local developer talent goes hand in hand with the rise of the youthful population. Projections indicate that Africa's population will grow by 87% in the next 30 years, and the continent will be home to one in three people aged between 15 and 35 globally by 2050. This rapid demographic growth is translating to changes on the technology landscape as well. The increasingly young and educated population is driving higher consumption of online services, and developers are setting up for this opportunity. This fast changing developer landscape forms the basis of what we would like to talk to you about today. There are three key points we want you to walk away with. First, the number of African developers is at a historical high and continues to rise annually. This growing pool of developers is playing an important role in Africa's digital transformation through the solutions they are building. These developers are solving challenges facing the world by leveraging their deep local perspectives. One example is the challenge of insurance uptake in developing markets. Pineapple, an insurtech startup from Johannesburg, South Africa, is addressing this problem by reinventing the way insurance has been traditionally done. They use a peer-to-peer -peer model that makes insurance easy, fair, and accessible. Pineapple's registered members can use a mobile application to cover their valuables by simply taking photos of items they want to insure. Finally, Google is committed to investing in Africa's tech ecosystem through training programs and partnerships with other organizations with the common goal of enabling these developers to build for Africa and the world. Let's take a look at each of these points. Tech talent in Africa is at a historical peak and continues to rise. In Accenture's 2020 developer research, they found nearly 700,000 professional software developers located across the continent. 
Now, the vast majority of these developers are between the ages of 18 to 34, skewing significantly younger than the median age of software developers globally, and implying even more future momentum and growth of African developers, in line with John's points earlier on how Africa's youth population will continue to grow in the coming years. But of course, Africa is not a country. So to understand what the 700,000 number really means, we need to look at how it maps out across individual countries. As you can see in this map of countries with the largest developer populations, developers in Africa are spread across a geographically diverse range of countries. And looking at these numbers on a country by country basis, over half of Africa's developers are located in four countries, Egypt, Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa. There are also growing developer populations in Ethiopia, Ghana, and Morocco, alongside emerging developer ecosystems in Ivory Coast, Rwanda, and Uganda. However, it's critical that we do more than just observe this growth, but also understand the key factors fueling it. John, what is driving this growth? There are three primary contributing factors to the growth of the developer ecosystem. The increase in innovation hubs, venture funding, and developer training opportunities have collectively accelerated the growth of Africa's developer landscape. Tech hubs and investors bring complementing value to tech entrepreneurship, providing founders with the resources, training opportunities, and funding they need to get started. Starting off with tech hubs, innovation spaces have been at the center of the digital evolution in Africa for a long time. They are important because they provide physical locations where developers can meet and access reliable infrastructure, mentorship, and training opportunities. The number of tech hubs in Africa has continued to grow consistently over the last 10 years. The total number doubled in just three years, from 314 in 2016 to over 600 in 2019. There is also an increased effort to coordinate programs amongst the hubs, which has led to the growth of both regional and pan-African hubs networks. These tech hubs are not only growing in number, but also in the diversity of programs that they are offering. These hubs started out as community spaces where developers with similar interests would meet to share knowledge and experiences. They have now expanded their offerings to include targeted startup support programs that help founders build and grow their tech businesses. Google has been partnering with leading tech hubs and accelerator programs in Africa with the goal of making our collective resources available to Africa's startups. The iHub in Nairobi, Kenya, is one good example. Founded in 2010, iHub joined the global Google for Startups partner network two years later and has continued to provide a home for developers and founders looking to start their digital entrepreneurship journey. Andy? It's fantastic to see how iHub has remained committed to supporting Kenya's entrepreneurs for over a decade now. Startups are emerging out of these technology hubs at an ever-growing rate, providing key opportunities for developers to take their ideas forward and create economic growth as they build for Africa and the world. Africa's venture funding landscape has been growing at an unprecedented pace, reaching new historical milestones year after year, and is poised for continued growth in the coming years. And the data shown here on startup equity deals from Partech Partners 2020 Africa Tech Venture Capital Report, you can see this growth, both through the number of dollars invested per year and the number of deals closed annually. While in 2020, we do see a one-year drop in total dollars invested, even during that year, which was strongly affected by the COVID-19 global pandemic, global interest in African tech startups remained stronger than ever. In that year, 44% more startups closed deals than in the previous year. And while we've been observing that strong startup growth in Africa, we've also been shaping our programs at Google to further support it. In 2017, African startups joined a growing group of international counterparts at Google's Global Startup Accelerator program in San Francisco. And in 2018, we launched our first ever Africa-based accelerator program, Google for Startups Accelerator Africa. Since then, over 60 startups from across the continent have graduated from Accelerator Africa. Anchored out of Lagos, Nigeria, Accelerator Africa is a pan-African accelerator program which brings together cohorts of top 
early stage African startups, together with the best of Google's programs, people, and technology, alongside a network of experienced mentors and successful entrepreneurs from across Africa. One of those participating African startups was Flutterwave. In 2017, they joined 30 startups from Africa, Brazil, India, and Indonesia for Google's global Launchpad Startup Accelerator. Fast forward four years later, and Flutterwave is one of Africa's leading payments technology companies, supporting 300,000 businesses across Africa. Flutterwave recently announced their latest funding round of $170 million, which puts their company valuation at over $1 billion within just five years of founding. Of course, one key requirement to building successful startups like Flutterwave is to have access to a large pool of talented developers. Absolutely. There has been a significant increase in the number of developer training program, resources, and institutions in Africa over the last couple of years. Developers are using different training channels to gain relevant skills and access well-paying opportunities. 67% of developers in Africa are either self-taught or using informal training methods such as boot camps or online schools. Universities, however, remain the single largest training opportunity for software developers with 31% of all developers going through this formal training channel. Google is also committed to helping bridge developer skills and opportunities gaps in Africa. In 2018, we kicked off a five-year engagement to provide 100,000 African developers with access to high-quality, world-class training on mobile and cloud technologies. We continue to see strong successes from this training initiative. Take Alan from Kenya, for example. Alan had always been fascinated by mobile devices and how applications work. The training presented the perfect opportunity for him to start his software development journey. Through the program, he was able to certify on Android development and has been fortunate to work with some of the best technology startups in the region. Upskilling opportunities for developers are not limited to structured training program. Google provides community programs that allow developers to connect, learn, and grow together. The community-led Google developer groups and university-based developer student clubs provide opportunities for developers and students interested in Google's developer technologies to connect and learn together. These developer communities have additional support from a global network of Google developer experts. These are highly experienced developers who volunteer their time to share their knowledge and experience by speaking at conferences, hosting workshops, mentoring teams, and creating technical content. We're also committed to building an ecosystem where all women in technology can thrive. Our Women Tech Makers program is dedicated to supporting women in technology through community initiatives for them to connect and network, build visibility, and access exclusive training resources. So to recap, this rapid transformation we're seeing is largely due to the role that tech hubs, investors, and training programs have played in supporting developers across Africa. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, John. We truly believe that the future is Africa. Today, we've shared with you some insights into that growing force of developers across Africa, looking at who and where they are, how they're training, and what they're building. We've also seen how these developers are organizing to solve regional and global challenges with the support of a rapidly growing tech hub and investor network. Google has been proud to support, alongside a range of other organizations, the continued growth and development of Africa's developers and startups to help accelerate Africa's future. Today, we've released a new post on the Google Africa blog at africa.googleblog.com, sharing more information about the initiatives we've discussed today, how you can get directly involved with them, and links to our complete Africa developer research findings. Thank you all for your time. We've listed our Twitter handles for you to follow along on social media. And for those interested in diving deeper in what we discussed today, we'll see you on the Google Africa blog. 